So what's neat about this, this is just a big TV screen. And then there's a touch. Let's screen. go fully immersive. Please put on the tracked gloves and head mounted display. Now join me in the full virtual world. Take a look around. Notice that you have the same helm controls on the physical touch screen. The plain sheet of glass to your left has been transformed into another control surface. Want a bird's eye view? Press the crow's nest button to your left. Now seeing a synthetic view from the radar mast. Take a look down and over your shoulder for a view of the full ship. You still have the same control capabilities up here. And I'm here too, on your left. We're airborne. First, select a helm. Now, select a throttle. You can move the controls wherever you want by dragging the window headers. Try out the throttle and helm. These are some near-term augmented and virtual capabilities. To explore further, let's go fully immersive. Please put on the tracked gloves and head-mounted display. Looks like we've got a fire in engine room one. You can touch the personnel icon to get direct comms with the sailors. We've identified a fuel leak and the point source of the fire. Machinists made Cabrio is apparently unconscious near the exit hatch. The robot has a fire. Sensors indicate no Select a helm. Now, select a throttle. You can move the controls wherever you want by dragging the window headers. Try out the throttle. Let's go fully immersive. Please put on the tracked gloves and head mounted display. You've now joined me in the full control surface. Want a bird's eye view? Press the crow's nest button to your left. Uh -oh. You're now seeing a synthetic view from the radar mast. Take a look down and over. Going virtual allows us to be anywhere and bring capabilities in and out as needed. Plus, we will be able to pull in live video feeds and other sensor data from the real world. We're airborne. 
switching to immersive view from the platform symbol as soon as we're in range. The UAS loud hailer now. The pirates appear to be turning away from the fray comms with the sailors. No response. Uh, yellow. Yellow? There's too much smoke to get inside. The fire suppressant is toxic and...